Hey, Chad! Chad! Zico! Hey! I was just drinking some water at the spring. Well, what's up, man? You ready for another workout? <sighs> workout? Not quite. Got some other work to do. Let's do it. All right. Got you some sandals, by the way. Oh, nice. Made nice. These. From Yakko Leaves. Yeah. I've seen what these Yakko Leaves can do. Organic and sturdy. Appreciate it. Let's get to it. Let's do it. canes I collected yesterday at another spring and so basically you want to select the ones that are the thickest and straightest okay they could be bent later by adding water and, and bending them in, in a fire not in the fire actually but getting them really warm and you can straighten them out that way like this one's already been trimmed like see all the the leaf mm -hmm. the dry leaf that's on the edge yeah. You just twist to pull all that off. Oh, that's discarded. I won't need the very ends, they can be broken off. Okay. And like this one here is way too skinny. It's too small. Mm. Like you can make an L out of it, but it's very weak. Okay. So I would discard that. These are very lightweight, and they're actually too light, and so you have to put weight in the front. And so what what needs to be done is uh, the end needs to be cut, and you want the arrow to be like about two feet long or more. And so what I want to do is add an extension here, hmm. which will be an arrow. Uh, it, would, it would be an extension of the arrow would be a, a wooden piece that will have a wooden tip. And actually, there's one over there right behind you. Oh. On top of the, flat, the feathers. Right there. Yeah. So with this, so what I ta do is take my blade mm -hmm. and cut it. I'm leaving about an inch or two centimeters mm. above one of these rings here. Okay. And so what I've done with this is I carved it. Mm. I just scraped and scraped and scraped until it was narrowed down to a narrow core like that. And then that well, sticks in there. will fit right into there. Oh, I see. And so to secure it, what I do is add some glue. I get a little bit of the glue from the soap plant. And I'm going to put that on it. It's all over there. And then shove it in there. When that dries, it'll be mm -hmm. started it together. Got it. So that would be the arrow point. But to help it in flight, you also want to put feathers. Mm. Before I put the feathers though, we have to make a notch here for where the bowstring will fit in. And so again, you want it on this side of this because this is strong. In here, it's very brittle and it could break easily. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut it about one centimeter above this ring. Mm -hmm.
There we go. Mm. And then I got to make the notch. Mm. And so by doing the same method, using the knife, but directly into it, but being careful that I don't split it. Got it. So now it has a notch to the bowstring. Mm, I see. And so that could be reinforced also with, with glue okay. or tar. And then the next step would be, you could shoot this, but it'll go. Okay. It'll go so to help it create a straight flight, you could add feathers. And they are attached also with the glue, but I also use... Um, the string or threads from the Mojave yucca. Mm. So good. there's a few feathers right there. <clears throat> Just grab all of that. And so I was I separated uh, a few of them. And this isn't the nicest feather, mm. but it will it'll work, it will help. And there's different ways to do it. Some tribes may use a long piece of feather that went a long distance on the on the shaft of the arrow. Others use shorter ones. But here, the tricky part is using a blade to, to carefully mm. split the feather. Ah, it looks like a very delicate process. This is a feather. And so, yeah, once you get going, you can, sometimes you can finish it by hand but carefully, carefully pulling it apart like this. I see. And so I want to make it, it's important that they be the same length. Mm -hmm. So I want to cut it up here, right here. trim off some of these. <clears throat> and you want to leave approximately a centimeter of, of this stem on either end because that's the part that's going to get wrapped. Got it. So I have a bundle of yucca leaves or yucca fibers. So I'm going to attach these. I have one single fiber here. I'm going to start with one and attach it about right here. And so again, get some glue. <coughs> I'm going to wrap the glue like all around there. Take the fiber and this part's a little tedious. It's very detailed. Mm. But you just simply start wrapping it. Gotcha. And then go with the rest of them on the corners. Try to make it straight. coming. Yeah. Let's start getting the shells already.
Okay, let me do it again. Second shot. Narrow. One, two. What the f I'm done. <laughs> Action. Oh my f can do it. Keep what going, keep it? going. Okay. One, two. Three. Okay, action. No no. I see what's oh. happening. I saw what happened. I saw what happened. I'll fix it now. I saw what happened. This arrow is different. I see what happened. Okay, we're shooting it this time 100%. I saw what happened. Do the pull and stuff after I say action. Okay. Alright, ready. Action. What the fuck? 